What is going on lads? It's a layer trick shock here and today I am bringing you guys another video so today I'm going to be bringing you guys my EPL team of the season predictions now I know there was about a month or so until these are actually released but I don't think the team is going to change too much maybe a few changes in the starting 11 and the bench but overall this is my prediction for the EPL team of the season I want to know what you guys think of this team so if there are any changes you would make then do let me know down in the comments and just tell me your team so we're going to get straight into this and our goalkeeper is of course going to be the main man Dave Saves and that is David De Gea what a god this is he's probably been the best keeper in the world during this season he's a class goalkeeper nothing gets past him really hope he doesn't go to Madrid but anyway he's definitely going to be in this team no matter what in my opinion our right back is going to be Nathaniel Klein I think he should be in the team of the season he might not be in the starting 11 but I think he will be at least on the bench we've also got John Terry he's been a class player for a number of years he's still playing good and next to him we do have someone who's a little bit underrated that is Jose Font not many people will put him in their team this season but he's definitely had a really good season it's either between him or Koscielny and and in my opinion I do think that Font will be in the starting 11 at left back we do have Ivanovic just because there hasn't been any standout left backs this year you got Kalishi hasn't been amazing Aspil Quetta Moreno none of them have been really amazing so I think EA will have a right back at the left back position out on the right, of course, we're going to have Alexis Sanchez. He's got eight assists this year. He's been amazing. Not as much since Christmas, but before Christmas, he was probably the best player in the Premier League. Just a really good player. In the midfield, we're going to have Cesc Fabregas. I think this is a player that's definitely going to be in there. I think this is one that every person will have in their predictions. 16 assists this season. That's just crazy. He could almost get up to 20 in the next month or two. Next to him, we do have David Silva. This guy could be a left mid, could be a cam. I really hope it's going to be a cam, though, because look at some of those stats. He'd just be one of the best cams on the game. He could be a left mid, though, because he has played there for City quite a few times this season. Out on the left, we do have Eden, Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard, however you want to say it. He's been amazing this year, of course. He's still got quite a bit of time to grow to be one of the best players in the world and he's just really good he's so direct he scores goals he's got everything up front we are going to have Harry Kane of course who else is it going to be them big Harry Kane he wasn't really scoring much or he wasn't really known before Christmas and before the start of the season but this year he's just he's just a quality striker and he's one of the best strikers and going around definitely one of the better strikers in the Premier League and that is why He's got his England cap and he did score with something like um, 30 seconds in, something crazy like that. And next to him we do have Diego Costa, hasn't scored as much since Christmas, bit of the opposite since Harry Kane, but he's right up there in contention for the top goal scorer, 19 goals. Both Harry Kane and Diego Costa do have 19 goals, so that is the starting 11. We are going to hop into the bench right now. So we've got Fraser Forster. I do think that he will be in the team over Quartar, but let me know what you guys think about that. We've got Yannick Velassi. I don't see this one really happening at all, but I just really want this card. Five-star skills and some of those stats would just be absolutely amazing. We've got Matic, the player that makes Chelsea tick. He's very underrated. You don't even notice him. But he's one of Chelsea's most important players. We got Ericsson, he just saved Spurs so many times. Him and Harry Kane and the race, they're just basically the whole of Spurs. Then we've also got Coutinho, he's been amazing for Liverpool. Probably their best player this season. He's a very good player to watch. He can score some finesses. He's got good passing, good dribbling. Great little player. And also got Aguero, of course, who could be in their starting 11. It depends what happens in the next month. And who gets the most goals I suppose but at this at this moment Costa and Kane both have 19 goals and Aguero is back at 17 and the other striker to fill up this bench is going to be Charlie Austin and he has got 16 goals too he's not too far off and also with the team that he's got in QPR you know if he wasn't playing for QPR they'd definitely be dead bottom and wouldn't be having a chance to stay in the Premier League so this is the team you can see it all here I don't think there'll be 
too many changes to this. I think there are some players that might make their way through. These are some other honourable mentions. You've got Rooney, Giroud, who probably won't get in the team, but you've got Kultar, Bertrand, Koscielny, Henderson. And yeah, I want to know what you guys do think of this team, if you'd make any changes. These are my predictions, of course. I hope you guys do have a lovely day. I'll speak to you again later. Goodbye.